Krebs, your Tales of Terror host. I'm here with my pals Hysteria hey! and yeah! Scully. Hey, everybody! <sighs> Don't mind me, Scully. <sighs> I haven't had a decent 40 winks since these ghosts moved in. <laughs> I tell you, hosting a haunted Airbnb, it's not a pumpkin carving picnic. <laughs> The constant moaning, popping out, hiding under the bed, slamming the door. Like, we get it. <laughs> Don't forget the communal bathroom. I keep finding notes on the mirror made out of steam when I get out of the shower. Some privacy, please. <laughs> I guess I was hoping for more of a Bruce Willis, unfinished business type ghost. Not Casper, the peeping creep. <laughs> I thought, well, since you're here, well, might as well play a good old-fashioned game of Bloody Mary. <laughs> if they weren't having it. And all that would have been fine if it weren't for the bad review on Yelp. <laughs> Zero out of five stars. The Eerie Inn lacks a soul menu. No turn down service or extra sheets. The graveside continental breakfast was cold. I'll tell you what was cold. If brevity is the soul of wit, criticism must be the butthole. <laughs> Right. I need to do some creeping of my own. Find a nice little haunted spot to get away. Here are the top 13 haunted hotels you can escape to. Ooh, yeah. Vacation! Vacation. <laughs> 13. Omni Parker House, Boston, Massachusetts. This is one of the oldest hotels in Boston and boasts an old world elegance. It's been open since 1855, founded by Harvey Parker. Guests have reported sightings of Mr. Parker. If you dare to stay in room 303, it's been described as having paranormal activity and is the inspiration for Stephen King's short story, 1408. 12. The Don Caesar. St. Pete Beach, Florida, is said to be haunted by its original founder, Thomas Rowe. Guests have described seeing Rowe strolling the hotel in his traditional white suit and Panama hat. <laughs> He's also been seen holding hands with his raven-haired lover, Lucinda. <sighs> Mr. Rowe has been described as a courteous spirit, opening doors for staff members and greeting guests in a gentlemanly manner. And you thought those mints on your pillow were from the maid. Think again. <laughs> 11. Logan Inn. New Home, Pennsylvania. It's known for housing spirits from the colonial era. During the Revolutionary War, some of the dead were stored in the basement until a proper burial could be made for the soldiers. One soldier in particular is said to haunt the grounds, and guests have also spotted the spirit of ghosts and adults. Make sure you lock your windows, because they're known to be seen opening and closing themselves at night. 10. Bourbon Orleans Hotel. It has been said that Confederate soldiers have been seen walking the corridors as well as figures dancing beneath the chandeliers in the ballroom of this historic hotel. This hotel is located only a few steps away from the French Quarter of New Orleans. Guests have also reported seeing and hearing ghosts hiding behind the curtains of the Grand Ballroom. Gives a whole new meaning to the game peek a -boo. <laughs> 9. Jekyll Island Club Resort, Georgia a hotel so lovely, even the deceased guests refused to leave. Apparently, J.P. Morgan was a regular guest at this hotel, and his spirit has been seen sitting out in front of his favorite room, smoking a cigar. Guests have even reported waking up to the smell of cigar smoke. And a former bellhop 
has been known to knock on guest doors before disappearing without a trace. And remember, just because the bellhop's dead doesn't mean you don't leave 20%. <laughs> Eight, Admiral Fell Inn, Maryland. The Admiral Fell Inn was once a theater and a boarding house before it became a hotel. Guests have reported hearing parties coming from unoccupied rooms next door, and a manager said that he once heard a party occurring even after the hotel had been evacuated during a hurricane. Some guests have even reported sightings of sailors floating down hallways and opening a door to a butler who suddenly vanishes. Now if the butler could only make my bar tab disappear. <laughs> Seven, Emily Morgan Hotel, San Antonio, Texas. Built in 1924, this was once a medical arts building housing doctor's offices and a hospital. Famous for its eerie Gothic architecture with a collection of gargoyles, each portraying a different medical ailment. <laughs> Guests have reported hearing voices and seeing spirits on various floors of the hotel. Six, Crescent Hotel and Spa, Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Known as the most haunted hotel in Eureka Springs, this too was a former hospital and said to be haunted by its former patients and doctors. Visitors have even reported the spirit of a beloved cat, Morris. The hotel features ghost tours and stories around a campfire. What haunted tour would be complete without a midnight visit to the former morgue? 5. Kehoe House, Savannah, Georgia Built in 1892 by William Kehoe, this hotel is central to some haunted attractions as Savannah has a reputation for being one of the most haunted cities in the U.S. It's said to be haunted by two of Kehoe's children, as well as rumored to have been a former funeral home where bodies were kept before they were laid to rest. Guests have been reported to have been tapped on the shoulder, touched on the arms while sleeping, and heard the sound of children playing despite being completely alone. 4. The Marshall House Savannah, Georgia. Craving some more Southern hospitality with a dose of disturbing nightmares? This hotel served as a hospital during the Civil War and lived through two yellow fever epidemics. Faucets have been reportedly turned on by themselves and the chilling voices of children are rumored to be heard along with the sound of feet running down the hallways. Three, Union Station Hotel, Nashville, Tennessee. This was a bustling railroad station in the 1800s. It was reportedly haunted by a love story gone awry. It was at this station that a young bride by the name of Abigail took her own life, jumping from a balcony onto the train track when she learned that her love had been killed on the battlefields in World War II. Her ghost has been spotted roaming the balcony and haunting room 711. Many guests have also reported unexplained tapping, lights turning off, and an overall creepy feeling looming in the rooms at night. 2. The Queen Mary, Long Beach, California This former cruise liner stays dockside, but if you visit this boat, you're in for a spooky adventure. The most famous story is in stateroom B340, where one unlucky person was murdered in an unsolved case. Guests have reported phantom knocking, lights turning off and on by themselves, the sink faucet turning on at random. Number one, the Stanley, Estes Park, Colorado. This historic hotel is famous for inspiring the setting of Stephen King's The Shining after he spent the night in room 217. The story is fictional but guests and employees at this 100-year hotel claim to hear piano playing by itself in the hotel's music room and children's laughter can be heard on the fourth floor. Room 217 is claimed to be haunted by Miss Elizabeth Wilson, a former housekeeper who was electrocuted during a thunderstorm.
haunted hotels. Did we get them all? Which one was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below, and thanks for watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah.